my god. An intruder on the starboard bow. Well, if they think they're getting in here, they'll never take me alive. Sounds like someone's at the door. Who is it? Your mama. Open the door. My dead mama? Well, even I find that to be highly unlikely. But I'd better not take the risk. <gasps> Finally. I've been holding my breath out there for a long time. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I just had to get out of the house, Space Tree. Pink frosting was all like, rah, 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 all the time, so I just had to get out of there. I mean, you know what those women are like. I don't have to tell you, right? You definitely don't have to tell me. Right, so you left Pink Frosting 88's trio. Hey, it was my trio. I mean, I thought of the idea of three people. Right. Well, on an unrelated matter, I need to go and use the telephone. Oh, is that what he told you? Well, that super powerless idiot is full of crap. I kicked him out of here like three weeks ago. He blew up a whole wing of the ship. And it cost me tens of hundreds of dollars to repair it, which I could easily afford. What do you mean, super powerless idiot? I mean, he's an idiot without superpowers. I don't know what happened. He seemed to lose it after that space president job. Which just makes him even more useless to me. I'm trying to run a business here, you know? I'm not just friggin' around like you do. And now I have to find a third member for the Reginalds. This whole thing just makes me so mad that I could just eat this phone. Hey, where'd he go? There's no way he's living here. He said he just had to shave. He'll just be a few minutes. I mean days. <sighs> That's better. Now, I was just thinking that I'll sleep in that room over there. No, that's not gonna happen. Hey, why don't you just make a portal and go somewhere good? Because I don't want to, alright? What else am I gonna do? You can't just leave me here in the cold, empty depths of space. Oh, look who's talking. What the hell are you? I'm me, Lord Marone's beard. I've been attached to his face for weeks, and he was just gonna shave me off and abandon me in the cold, empty depths of the sink. So, frig you! Look, I told you I didn't want a beard. Well, I don't want your face. So why don't you just get some surgery to reduce your chin size, huh? Why not that? I already did. Well, good riddance, I say. Actually, great riddance, because I'm going back to Beardland. Beardland? What's that, like a land of beards? Well, why don't you see for yourself? Beardland is just inside my mouth, boy. Ah! Really? Hey, I want to go to Beardland, too. Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Because I'm green? Die, Beardo! <laughs> hey, that wasn't really necessary. I mean, he only bit Alan. <clears throat> My dying wish is that me, Lord Marone, be allowed to live on this ship. Well, you heard him, Space Tree. Why should I do what he says? Come closer, and I'll tell you. I can't bend down. Just speak louder. There is... Another space tree. Yeah, I know. I made that robot version of myself. No, I mean a different space tree, you dick. One you haven't met. And she's a real bitch, too. <coughs> she? Well, that's some interesting information. I guess I'll have to honor his dying wish. You can stay on the ship, me lord. Thanks, idiot. Alright, the scam worked. Now where's my payment? <laughs> People say some crazy stuff when they're dying.